Hey, new amp? Yep. It's a tube amp? Yep. Isn't it problematic sitting on the floor like that? Well, they say you can do this. Wow, brilliant. They thought of everything. Hey, did anyone ever tell you that you guys look a lot alike? Yep. Oh, yeah. Hey there, I'm Dan, the self-proclaimed Lonely Rocker. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you're into guitars, related gear, or all that it takes to record it, or perhaps if you're into one of those three things, there may just be something on this channel for you. So perhaps you'd consider clicking the subscribe button and that ringy-ding thing, and you won't miss any of my content, and I appreciate that. So today we're on to the Aileron from Dynastar. Now I did an unboxing of this not too long ago, and it twisted some of your minds in knots. Yes, it's an all-tube amplifier that sits on the floor. And some of you are like, well, what if someone spills a beer on my tube amp? Well, if someone spills a beer on your Helix or your Fractal, I think it's gonna suffer the same fate. Now, however you choose to use it, if you do get your hands on one of these, that's up to you. But what I wanna do is I wanna share this amplifier with you. Not only is it different in form factor, it's got some features on here that are non-typical of your average tube amp. So I wanna take you through all that, but ultimately I wanna finally show you what it sounds like. So let's dive into one of those tones right now. in that last bit. Let's hear that again. Love it. So anyways, that tone, I'm going directly into the treble boost input uh, without any overdrive. So you're hearing the natural breakup of the amplifier. I'm using my ESP LTD Deluxe Phoenix 1000. It's the bridge pickup. It's a Seymour Duncan Custom. Now that's a passive pickup, slightly hotter but it is a passive pickup. So one thing that I've really grown to love about this amplifier is that it's extremely reactive. Whether I'm using the soft input or the boost input, it tends to break up pretty easily. Uh, obviously you can control the input or the output coming from your guitar, but it is very, very reactive and I really like that. So anyways, for the demonstrations today, I've introduced the guitar. Uh, I'm running into the aileron and then we're going direct through the Sur reactive load. And then I've got two cab IRs. I'm using the Ownhammer Classic Rock 57 and 121 mic mix, blended with another Ownhammer, the V30 EN 1999A Classic 3, the B3 mix. So I'll get into the features of this amp in a second, but let's kick in some overdrive to hear how that sounds. So this amp starts to scream even with just a touch of overdrive. I had that barely on too. So let's listen to that riff again. I'll play it in solo. Uh, the first one is what you heard. I'm going into the, the boosted input, but the second example, I'm actually going into the soft input, but I'm kicking in some overdrive. Just so we can get an example of really what's two different voicings and two uh, different amounts of saturation. Let's check it out.
So that's just one example of how radically different this amp can sound with different configurations. And there's a lot of different ways to shift the voicing and the amount of saturation just makes this amp really flexible. The Dynastar Aileron is a 12 watt tube amp with three 12 AX7s and two EL84s in the power section. The soft input feeds directly into the tube stages and the treble input adds a FET driven treble booster. The two shape switches provide mid frequency boosts. Shape one is only functional when the overdrive is engaged and shape two is always functional and boosts lower frequencies. The effects loop high low switch is a great feature that affects the send return gain to better match the amp to your pedals. On the top of the amp, you'll find your main controls for overdrive, treble, bass, mid range, and volume. The sturdy onboard foot switches engage the overdrive and built in parametric EQ, and the Chevron indicator lights are very colorful and bright. Speaking of the parametric EQ, it has a sweepable frequency range from 100 Hz to 5 kHz level and Q controls. This is great for adjusting the voicing of the amp or to target specific frequencies for boosts and cuts. It also has four 9 volt jacks to power your pedals. These utilize switchcraft connectors which screw into place ensuring a secure connection. And the effects loop is conveniently placed here allowing for easy cable management. And on top of everything this amp has a built in reverb. Around back you have three speaker outputs at 4, 8 and 16 ohms and a balance line output though there is no built in load. The aileron is clearly designed as a floor amp and can be secured to a board with the built in brackets with your pedals arranged in front. But as with any amp, you can set it up any way you like. As my main use is in the studio, I found having easy access to all of the onboard dials and switches, including the foot switches for the overdrive and parametric EQ, made it very easy to use in a studio setting. So next, I wanted to experiment with the features on the front of the amp using the effects loop and the power. Now, I only have one of those switchcraft cables and I powered two pedals. I've got a compressor pedal and a chorus pedal. So I used the single power connector and I ran a daisy chain between the two and it worked perfectly fine. I don't know what the limit is on the amplifier, at least four, but uh, perhaps you can uh, squeeze in a couple other ones with a daisy chain. That's something that you could experiment with. But I wanted to see how all that works with some effects in the front end and going with a cleaner tone. Now, like I said, this amp is really reactive, but once you get a nice clean tone, mix it with some of the built-in reverb, and like I said, the compressor and the chorus, I think we came up with a really nice clean sound. Let's check it out. I should mention, obviously I was using the same guitar, but I was using the middle position that blended in the Fat Cat in the neck position that's kind of like a P90 style pickup, but the combination of those two pickups work really well for cleans and they really work nicely uh, for the clean channel of this amplifier. Okay, for you purists out there, I wanna let you hear what this amp sounds like on its own with no processing, no double tracking. Uh, to free up my hands, I'm just gonna reamp a simple guitar part out of my computer. I'm just gonna twist some dials, flick some switches so you can hear what the actual amp is doing.
My biggest takeaway from that demonstration is the parametric EQ. Now having this single band parametric EQ built in just gives you a lot of flexibility because it is sweepable. You've got a wide range of tones there. In, in its simplest form, you can use it as a treble boost, for example, or something to kick in when you want, just want a little bit extra for a solo. Uh, but it can really change the voice of the amplifier, which just gives it a lot of variety in the types, different types of tones that you can dial in, really adding to the flexibility of this amplifier. Well, there you have the Aileron from Dynastar. Now, if there's one thing I can say on top of everything I've already said, is I love the uniqueness about this amplifier. They attempted to make something different. You know, amplifiers, many amplifiers are just iterations of amps that came before them, you know, like hot rodded Marshall circuits, you know, Mesa with extra this and extra that. Okay, there are amps that sort of go in their own direction, but this truly is a unique amplifier. Now, starting with the form factor, the thought of putting a tube amp on the floor, I know that's gonna be a foreign concept to some of you, but hey, if you're into modelers, you're used to having your amplifier on the floor. There are inherent risks when you're playing in the clubs, whether your amp is on the floor or if it's over here, you can drop a beer, you can throw a beer. Even here in a studio, if someone doesn't like what I'm doing, they could throw some water in my face and uh, who knows what can happen here. Those are the risks we take to make music. But overall, it was a very unique experience playing with this amplifier. I love the features on here, just different ways to tweak uh, the, the voicings and the tones because you know amps have specific voicings the parametric eq on its own just gives you these sweepable voicings right just different sounds comes in handy whether you're boosting or you're just shaping sort of unique tones and all these modifiers here i just think it's great it's just something different and i really enjoyed that anyways don't want to oversell it. If you did like what you hear and you want more information about the Aileron, I'm going to put a link in the description. The people at Dynastar are wonderful people and I'm really excited about this amp and hope it does well for them. So definitely check them out. Uh, they've got some other interesting things to offer. So uh, check the link in the description. And if you do have any questions, thoughts, or anything at all, that's what the comment section is for. But if you did enjoy this video, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring that bell. And while you're doing that, if you're into interesting amplifiers, well, I've got a sort of unusual one waiting for you right here. You can check it out. And remember, you don't need a band to rock and roll. I'll catch you in the next one.